Amen. Napaganda po mga awi nila. So stand up please. Alam niyo po, totoo po yun eh. We can still up to this now. Kung isipin natin, hindi natin maintindihan paano tayo minahal ng Diyos. We, can, we cannot, we cannot uh, really, uh, ma- hindi natin talaga may isip ng lubos. Kasi eh, kandiyulat kanina, ganda rin po yung kinatanong mga yung tatlo kanina. Uh, God's love is not an emotional love. And thank God, it's not an emotional love. Kasi kung emotional po yan, eh, nagbabago-bago po yun. Amen. Alright, let's open our Bibles please. Ngayon po ay uh, katulad po ng sinabi kanina ni Sir Michael, alam niyo po, that's a real blessing for us as a church na even though on our uh, in on every services that we have, meron po tayong doctrinal, sir, meron po tayong uh, doctrinal na doctrine sa pinag-aaral. We have doctrinal studies because sabi nga ni Pastor, yun po ang isa sa mga goal niya maibalik yung dating uh, uh, spirit na church when it comes to Uh, studying the Word of God, naka-focus po sa doctrines. Because nowadays, churches are more focused on preaching, uh, uh, on more, their, their preachings are more focused on uh, how to live right as a Christian. And sabi nga, ang kalakaran niya, ang tawag nga ay prosperity gospel. And uh, naka-focus sila noon na uh, uh, paano magiging mabuting Kristiyano. What what these people don't understand is that you cannot be good apart from the doctrines of God. That's the truth. You cannot be good growing and the blessing for us brethren is that growing in these doctrines na pinag-aaralan po natin will teach us to be biblically good and not emotionally good. See, that's our difference. That's the difference that is being emphasized to us by our pastor. He wants us, he wanted to help us by God's grace. Our pastor is helping us to be biblically right in front of God than to be emotionally right in front of men. Nakukuha niyo po ba? Ang ibig ko po sabihin mga kapatid, marami po tayong makikita na, na mga Kristiyano ko noon na mas mababait pa sa Baptist. Amen. <laughs> We, we, <laughs> hindi natin may tatanggihan mga kapatid kung baga mas banal pa nga sila sa mga baptist but that doesn't take away the part that uh, we can we, uh, I can question them on how how good are they as a Christian pwede kang mabait na hindi ka nagsosol winning amen tama po ba ka doon amen <laughs> so as far as checking it biblically good who is biblically right hindi ko naman sinabi na pagsusol winning ka, salbahe ka. The more you'll be good if you win souls. Amen. And that will help you to be biblically good in front of God and in front of men. Amen. See? Kaya nga po, the, 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 yan po yung katulad na lagi ko pong, uh, ako po'y uh, uh, natutuwa sa talata po sa Book of Acts because lagi po natin makikita as, as the church continues, ang pinakatalagang unang pinagtibay nila is that for them to be to to uh, ang unang pinagtibay nila ay yung kanilang mga sarili sa doktrina ng mga apostles. 'Di ba po yung lagi po natin naririnig na binabasa po dito and they continued steadfastly in apostles doctrine because from then on everything follows. But kung titingnan niyo po saan po nagsimula bago sila magmatibay sa apostles doctrine. Kung babasahin niyo po pataas, nagkaroon muna ng tinatawag nating salvation. Salvation occurred first bago po sila patuloy sa iba pang doktrina ng mga apostles which in fact we do we do believe in this church that salvation is also part of the apostles doctrine because ito salvation na pinag-uusapan po natin ay doktrina po ito ng ating Panginoong Diyos and that's why we have to grow on these doctrines for us like I said to for us to be more biblically or scripturally scripturally right in front of God and not in front of men. Mga kapatid, sa Diyos tayo mananagot, hindi sa tao. Amen. Now, as part of our salvation series, Doctrine of Salvation series, tonight I'll be talking to you on understanding remission. Understanding remission. Madalas po natin naririnig ang salitang remissions. Let me first read you the passage as we open it together in Acts chapter 10 verse number 43. Acts 
Acts chapter 10 verse number 43. Are you there? Amen. Sabi po ng Bible, to him give all the prophets witness that through his name, whosoever believeth in him shall receive remission of sins. Shall receive remission of sins. Tayo po muna ay manalangin. Let's close our eyes and bow our heads. Heavenly Father, thank you, O God, for this time that you have given to us. Maraming salamat po, Panginoon. At sa pagkakataon po na ito, kayo po muli ang siyang nauna sa aming kalagitnaan. Thank you, O God, for the great singing. Thank you, O God, for the specials. Thank you for the testimonies. Lahat po ng maging part po ng aming service, Panginoon. Maraming salamat at ito po lahat ay nagtataas po ng inyong pangalan. And as of this, uh, on this part, O God, of our service, as we study your word, Please use me, O God, to be a blessing to your people. I cannot do this without you. Give me your wisdom, knowledge, and understanding. Holy Spirit, flow through me. And also in each, every one of us inside this auditorium, O God, give us the right attitude to receive the message that you have for us tonight. And uh, give us your understanding so that your, your, uh, your doctrines will be more clearer for us, O God, to understand. Cleanse us from all unrighteousness. Forgive us in all our sins. All these things, Father, we pray in Jesus' name. Amen. Please take your seats. I hope we're ready. Amen. Now, as we said, we're, as I said, I'm going to talk about understanding remissions. Unawain po natin, napakasimple lamang po na ito, but yet, the, 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 uh, the uniqueness of our salvation, every part, every part ay mabibigat. Kumbaga, yung emphasis sa ating buhay ay mabibigat and that we have to give emphasis, emphasis on each part of our salvation para po, uh, uh, para po mas lalo pa nating malaman kung paano natin dadalhin yung ating pagkakristyano. Amen! What is remission? Let's understand first what do we mean by the word remission. Meaning pa lang mga kapatid, masusob na po tayo sa pag-unawa natin ng, ng nasalitang remission. What is remission? The word remission means freedom. Okay? Para po if you're taking down notes, Freedom. And by the way, katulad na sinabi ni Sir Michael kanina, gusto kong pasubalian po yun. Mga Bible students, huwag niyong kalimutan sinabi ng ating president ng ating Bible school, which is our pastor, your, your every services that we have is also your classroom. Kaya tama si Sir Mike kanina, kahit tapos na yung first sem, may klase pa rin kayo. Amen. Bible students. Yun nga lang, walang quiz to. Doon kayo pinagpala. <laughs> Alright. The word, the word remission means Freedom. Freedom. Also, figuratively, the word remission, it means pardon. Pardon. It is the giving up of the punishment due to a crime. Ulitin ko po, no? It means freedom. Figuratively, it means pardon. Na ang ibig po sabihin, it is the giving up of the, of the punishment due to a crime. In the Bible, actually, it has a uh, it is practically synonymous with the word forgiveness. Pero ang pagkaintindihan pa po natin to meron pong pinagkakaiba po because the word forgiveness can be used by men. Paggagamitin po natin sa kapwa natin tao, but the word remission, as far as remission, pagpapata or pag pagpapardon, pagbibigay ng kalayaan mula sa ating mga kasalanan. Man cannot use this word remission to forgive others or to, uh, to forgive others from their sins. Magkaiba po ang paggamit po noon. Mamaya, unawain po natin yon. Now again, tandaan niyo po yung binigay ko sa inyong meaning. Freedom and pardon. Okay? Now, as uh, uh, we can now all, dito pa lang makikita po natin yung, yung special, uh, yung uh, uh, what's special with our remission. Yung pagkakaiba po niya, bagamat uh, practically, it's, it's synonymous. Magkalapit na magkalapit sila ng salitang pagpapatawad. Pero may pinagkaiba po yan. Because the word remission, really, it mean, other meaning po ng word na relation, bawat meaning po na bibigay ko po sa inyo ng word na remission is very important. The word remission is also a release from the guilt or penalty of an offense. It is a release from the guilt or penalty of an offense. At yan po yung sinasabi ko po sa inyo kanina na pagkakaiba niya po from the word forgiveness, 
in the part of man using the word forgiveness and from God using the word forgiveness. Yung po ang pinagkaiba because when God uh, remitted us from our sins, it means He released us from the guilt and the penalty of our sins. And like I said, this is what differ, differs our remission with our forgiveness. I mean, yung tao sa tao. Bakit po? Marami po pagkakataon sa buhay po natin na tayo po ay nagpapatawad. Amen. Pero, we cannot just release someone from their guilt sa ginawa po nila sa atin. Ulitin ko po, lilinamin ko po, ulit para magkaintindihan po tayo. I hope nakukuha niyo po ito. Madalas po tayong nagpapatawad. Pero bihira po ang taong makapag-release ng guilt ng isang taong nakagawa sa kanya ng kasalanan. Kaya nga po ba, di ba, sabi nga daw sa mapag-asawa, ang mga misis ay hindi talaga dapat sabihing hysterical pag sila ay nagagalit sa mister. Historical. Bakit? Kasi ibinabalik lahat ng pangyayari. Sinabi ko na nga ba noong una, ganyan, dapat din na kita pinatulan eh, ganyan ka pala. <laughs> Amen. <laughs> Nangyayari ba, sir? Nangyayari. Yan, yan po ay sabi lang po nila, biyaya ng Diyos, di ko pa naman nararanasan. <laughs> Pero, well, anyways, anyways, balik po tayo sa salita ng Diyos. <laughs> sabi ko nga po, yan po ang kaibahan. I hope you're getting it now. Amen. Pag tayo nagpatawad, pwede, ko, pwede, po, pwede ko sabihin po basta-basta na uh, uh, si, si, uh, si uh, brother uh, uh, my goodness, nagkakalip, alias na tuloy natatawag ko sa iyo, alias diary tuloy yung sasabi ko eh. Uh, si Brother Pong, madala, pwede ko mo sabihin na pinapa, <laughs> pinapatawad ko po siya sa kanyang kasalanan. Pero later on, bilang tao, there will come a time sa buhay ko na maaalala ko kahit na pinatawad ko na siya sa kasalanan na yun. Nagkakaintindi na po ba tayo? Amen. See? Bagamat the word remission is practically synonymous with the word forgiveness, but still, pagdating sa Diyos at sa tao, may pagkakaiba po yun. Ang foundation ng pagpapatawad sa atin ng Diyos is by His remission. By the word remission. Pero tayo, ang atin lamang po magiging as a Christian, ang pwede lamang po nating gawing pagpapatawad supposedly should be patterned with the Lord Jesus Christ. Pero as a human being, we are just forgiving someone emotionally. Nagkakaintindihan po ba tayo? Amen. Kaya nga po yun po yung sinasabi ko po sa inyo kanina. Napaka-importante ang Diyos, pasalamatan po natin ang Diyos because itinatama niya tayo ayon sa Biblia. Because if we are going to check ourselves according to what the world teaches us, we are based more on emotions. Kaya nga po, kahit anong pagpapatawad ng tao, maaalala at maaalala po natin yung kasalanan na gawa sa atin ng taong pinagpatawadan natin. See? But God, kung naalala niyo po, sa mga Biblia, kung pong pare-parehas po tayo ng Biblia, may sinabi po ang Diyos that our sins will not be remembered anymore. Once that He forgave us from our sins. And mga kapatid, the remission part of our salvation ay matagal na pong nangyari. Matagal na po itong naganap. Kaya nga po ngayon, nagihingi lang tayo ng tawad sa Diyos, pero alam niyo po ba, we, 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 uh, we, 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 we ask God for forgiveness or sometimes beg God for forgiveness, but the greatness of our salvation, one of the greatness of our salvation is the part of our remission na yun pa lang nung ginawa yun ng Panginoon Yesu Cristo, noon pa lang na tayo po ay napatawad na sa ating mga kasalanan. See? Kaya nga po on our main text, for us to receive that kind of remission, what we have to do is to believe. Sabi ng Bible, he, that through His name, whosoever believeth in Him shall have what? Remission of sins. Mamaya, ikakapitalize po natin ulit. Dito po muna tayo sa pag-unawa ng salitang remission. Now, parang po maintindihan nyo, kaya ko lang po pinaliwanag po yan para maintindihan nyo po yung pinagkaiba. Remission, mga kapatid, is the part of our salvation that is very necessary for God to exercise para ating pong ma-enjoy yung gift of everlasting life. 
See? Now, listen carefully. Para ma-enjoy, naalala niyo po, but the gift of God is eternal life through Jesus Christ, our Lord. But brethren, kung walang ginawang remission ang Diyos, walang, walang eternal life. Because, kontra po yun, we cannot enjoy eternal life kung alam po natin na sa isip natin, bandang dulo, may sasagutin tayo. Nagkakaintindihan po ba tayo? I don't, I don't think na anyone from, from us here can raise their hands at sasabihin mong, ah, may enjoy mo ang eternal life o ang everlasting life na sinasabi po natin. Kung may enjoy mo yun, na alam mong sa dulo, pagdudusahan mo pa rin yung kabayaran ng kasalanan mo. Nagkakaintindihan po ba tayo? Amen? See, we cannot enjoy that everlasting life or that eternal life if there's no remission of sins. Bakit? May sasagutin tayo eh. See? And alam naman natin lahat for the wages of sin is death. Therefore, we will suffer separation. See? So sa madalit sabi mga kapatid, kailangan natin nung remission para ma-enjoy nating everlasting life. Do you enjoy our everlasting life? We needed to be remitted sa ating pong mga kasalanan. Oh, by the way, the word remission kanina, dinefine ko po siya sa inyo as a noun. Now, if I'm going to, we're going to use it as an action word, the word remission will be, the, will be turned to the word remit. Okay? Or remitted. And when we say remitted, when I say remit, what it meant is to cancel or free someone from something. Naintindihan niyo po? Itindihan niyo po maigi yung meaning. To cancel or free someone from something. The other meaning of that is to give relief from suffering. Akalain niyo po mga kapatid, we all know that we have to suffer to suffer for the penalty of our sins as a sinner. But, yung pong pananagutan natin has been canceled by the Lord Jesus Christ when He remitted us from our sins. That is remission, brethren. And I believe that the best relief that we can receive is not the relief from this world, but the relief that will take us away from the eternal suffering. Wala, alam naman natin lahat, mga kapatid, wala sa ating gustong mag, 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 uh, magdusa para sa kasalanan natin sa lugar ng impyerno. That's why we do, we, we win souls by sharing them the gospel. Sinasabi natin sa kanila ang kabayaran ng kasalanan, at ang kabayaran ng kasalanan ay kamatayan, pagkahiwalay ng tao sa Diyos, at pag tayo ay nahiwalay sa Diyos, magdudusa tayo sa lugar kung saan natin pagbabayaran ng ating kasalanan na tinatawag nating impyerno. Eternally, we will suffer from the penalty of our sins. We will suffer. We, we, there will be a suffering na dadanasin natin bilang kabayaran ng ating kasalanan. But praise God, mga kapatid, there is a relief from our sins and that happened when Christ remitted us from our sins. Mga kapatid, binabanggit ko po sa inyo ngayon that Christ is the one who remitted us for our sins. It's because He is the very important piece when it comes to the remission of our sin. He is a very important component as far as this, our remission of sins is concerned. In Leviticus chapter 16, verse 21 and 22, actually, in the book of Leviticus itself, chapter 16, makikita po natin that in the Old Testament times, the Lord commanded Moses, the Lord commanded Moses to prepare animals for offerings. Particularly when it comes to sin offering, magkaiba po yung sa, sa priest kay Aaron <coughs> and or sa high priest kay Aaron and the Israelites. Kung titignan po natin in Leviticus chapter 16, hindi ko po babasahin lahat. But in, I'll just read verse 1. Ilan ilang mga talata lang po. Or, uh, let me read, yeah, verse 1. And the Lord spake unto Moses after the death of the two sons of Aaron, and they offered before the Lord and died. See? Now, verse 2. And the Lord said unto Moses, Spake unto Aaron thy brother, that he come not at all times into the, into the holy place within the veil before the mercy seat, which is upon the ark, that he die not, for I will appear in the cloud upon the mercy seat, 
Verse 3, ito po yung instruction. Thus shall Aaron come into the holy place with a young bullock for a sin offering and a ram for a burnt offering. Then in verse number 5, he shall take of the congregation of the children of Israel two kids of the goats for a sin offering and one ram for a burnt offering. Verse 6, And Aaron shall offer his bullock of, of the sin offering, which is for himself, and make an atonement for himself and for his house. And he shall take the two goats and present them before the Lord at the door of the tabernacle of the congregation. Drop down in verse number 14. Ito na po yun. And he shall take off the blood of the bullock and sprinkle it with his finger upon the mercy seat eastward. And before the mercy seat shall he sprinkle of the blood with his finger seven times. Kita niyo po yung mga detalye. Verse 15. Then shall he kill the goat of the sin offering that is for the people and bring his blood within the veil and do with that the blood as he did with the blood of the bullock and sprinkle it upon the mercy seat and before the mercy seat. Verse 16, And he shall make an atonement for the holy place because of the uncleanness of the children of Israel and because of their transgression in all their sins. And so shall he do for the tabernacle of the congregation that remaineth among them in the midst of their uncleanness. Drop down verse number 21. Importante po kasi makita nyo ito mga tal, uh, detaling ito. Verse 21. And Aaron shall lay both his hands upon the head of the live goat and confess over him all the iniquities after na po ito ng sprinkling, sprinkling ng blood. And confess over him all the iniquities of the children of Aaron, uh, 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 children of Israel, and all their transgression in all their sins, putting them upon the head of the goat, and shall send him away by the hand of a fit man into the wilderness. And the goat shall bear upon him all their iniquities unto a land not inhabited. And he shall let go the goat in the wilderness. Now, kung makikita niyo po dito sa mga talatang binasa po natin, yung instruction ng Diyos, kay Moses na sabi niya kay Aaron kung ano ang gagawin niya dun sa mga hayop and with the blood of the goats para for the atonement of their sins. It is for their sin offering. Kung maalala niyo po, kay Aaron is a young bullock and two uh, 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 kids uh, uh, and the goats for the sin offering of the children of Israel. And mga kapatid, this has to be strictly observed by the Israelites during the Old Testament times and they have to do it, there are times that they have to do it every year. See? So there is a ceremony that is going on every year just for the atonement of their sins. Now mga kapatid, here's the blessing of our remission. See? Now the blessing of our remission is that we need not to observe this kind of ceremony yearly for we have a sacrifice that takes away the guilt from our guilt from our sins eternally. Hebrews chapter 10. The parallel of this passage is in Hebrews chapter 10. Yun po yung Old Testament times. Paano na po sa, lugar, sa panahon natin ngayon? Bakit hindi natin ito kailangang i-observe na? O bakit hindi na natin ito ginagawa? Hebrews chapter 10 verse number 1. Are you there? For the law, having a shadow of good things to come, and not the very image of the things, can never with those sacrifices, take note of this, lalo na po para sa aming mga bisita, can never with those sacrifices which they offered year by year continually make the commerce thereunto what? Perfect. Verse 2, For then, would they not have ceased to be offered? See, nakita niyo po. Now, because that the worshippers once purged should have had no more conscience of sins. Verse 3, But in those sacrifices, 
There is a remembrance again made of sins every year. Now take note of these passages. Bakit ka naman aalalahanin mo pa year by year yung kasalanan mo? What's the sense of being atoned? Bakit ka pa nagpakahirap o bakit ka pa nagkapatay patay ng hayop para lang sa ikaba, para lang sa kapatawaran mo? Kung gagawin mo naman every year aalalahanin mo na naman yung nagawa mong kasalanan. Imagine kung yearly mo gagawin 'yon. Hindi eh, patong-patong 'yon. Akalain niyo po, so walang sense because sa so verse number one, the, those things in the Old Testament times is only the shadow of good things to come. Therefore, merong may darating na mas maayos. Verse number four, basahin po natin tuloy. It is not possible that the blood of bulls and of goats should take away sins. Maliwanag yan, mga kapatid. Wherefore, when he cometh into the world, he said, sacrifice and offering that would is not. No, dumating na pa yun iso Kristo. But a body that was repaired for me. Verse number, kung makikita niyo po dyan, kaya hindi na po natin kailangan pang gawin ang pag-offer ng mga hayop and the blood to sprinkle on the mercy seat para lang po sa atonement kasalanan natin. Bakit? Because we only have one component na kailangan po natin sa panahon natin ngayon and that is the Lord Jesus Christ Himself para tayo po ay ma-fully acquit from the guilt of our sins. Say, akalain niyo po yan. Ano po sabi ng Biblia? Uh, in Hebrews chapter 9 verse 22. Hebrews chapter 9 verse 22. Sabi ng Bible, And almost all things are by the law. Yung sa Old Testament times. Purged with blood. Because without shedding of blood, the, without shedding of blood is no remissions. Maliwanag po yung sinabi ng Biblia. Kasi po, makikita natin in Hebrews 9.22 that even in the Old Testament times, the blood has been an important component for the atonement of sins. Nung Old Testament times, Pero nung dumating na po ang Panginoong Heso Kristo, pasalamat po tayo sa Diyos that the blood that remitted us from our sins is not the blood of the animals, but the blood of our Lord Jesus Christ Himself. Ano sabi po ng Biblia in Hebrews chapter 9 verse 11? But Christ being come an high priest of good things to come by a greater and more perfect tabernacle, not made with hands. That is that, that is to say, not of this building. Neither by the blood of goats and calves, but by his own blood, he entered in once into the holy place, having obtained eternal redemption for us. Mga kapatid, napakaliwanag na salita ng Diyos. Kaya nga po kung tutuloy-tuloy pa po nating basahin ito mga kapatid, makikita natin ang kahalagahan at katin, uh, at, at uh, ang, ang, uh, ang tindi o ang bigat ng dugo ng banal na ng Panginoon Iso Kristo na dumana sa krus ng Kalbaryo. Akalain niyo po, for us to be relieved from the eternal suffering or from the penalty of our sins, for us to be freed from the guilt of our sins, mga kapatid, Christ has to die for us alone. Wala na pong mga judiciary procedures. No more judiciary procedures. This, mga kapatid, the reason kung bakit hindi, yun na binasa po natin sa Hebrews chapter 9, verse 11 and 12, ito po yung rason kung bakit hindi pa pwedeng tao ang mismong magbayad sa kasalanan ng kapwa niya tao. Because man is not made perfect. Only the Lord Jesus Christ is the perfect one that can be a sacrifice to be offered and the only one that can shed His own blood for the penalty of our sins. Maliwanag po yan. Ano lang ginawa natin mga kapatid? Sabi ko nga po sa inyo, walang judiciary procedures. Ano lang po ang ginawa natin? We only believe. See, ano po sinabi nyo sa bina binasa po natin kanina? Whosoever believeth in Him shall have remission of sins. Para po sa aming mga bisita ngayon, if I'm not mistaken, sa narinig ko po kanina, we have 16 first-time visitors. 
Para po sa mga bisita po namin ngayon, the reason kung bakit po namin binabahagi ang sa inyo ang, ang katiyakan para pumapunta kayo sa langit at the only way is to the Lord Jesus Christ because ang Panginoong Heso Kristo lamang ang makakapagpalaya sa atin sa guilt natin sa ating mga kasalanan. Sabi ko nga po sa inyo kanina, eh, tayong tao, magpatawad man tayo, o kahit tayo na pinatawad, minsan hindi pa tayo makatulog pag na-realize natin kung gano'ng kasama yung ginawa natin. Di po ba? Kaya minsan sinasabi natin, expert yung mga tu- nakakatulog ng maayos sa gabi na malam nila may kasalanan sila eh. See? But the truth is, as a human being, if you are in your good, natural sense, or in your good sense of behavior, bilang isang tao, hindi ka ganun mapakali kapag alam mo may ginawa kang problema. May konsyensya tayong tinatawag. Amen. Kaya nga po, hindi ka, makapa- hindi ka mapakali. Pero alam niyo mga kapatid, pag may nagawa ka sa lalo, pero mga kapatid, biyaya ng Panginoon. Biyaya ng Panginoon na tayo po ay napalaya sa guilt ng ating mga kasalanan. We are already now in the state, the greatest blessing that salvation brought us, tayo po ngayon ay nasa kalangayan na hindi na po tayo mag-guilty sa mga nakaraan nating nagawang kasalanan sa kadahilan na naalam natin na meron dugo na dumanak sa cross ng Albario for the penalty of our sins. Palagi po natin nakikita, sa, naririnig sa pulpitong ito, kung sasalaminin natin kung sino tayo nung nakaraan, bago ka naligtas, ma-realize mo natin kung gano'ng katindi ang remission ng ating mga kasalanan. This is why, in ma, ma, uh, it is strongly stated in our text, kung bakit sa Panginoon Iso Kristo lang tayo, kailangang maniwala. Ano po sinabi? Very familiar passage in Acts chapter 4 verse number 12. Sabi ng Biblia in Acts chapter 4 verse number 12, Neither is there salvation in any other, for there is none other name under heaven given among men, whereby we must be saved. Kaninong pangalan lamang po yun? Sa pangalan lang ng Panginoong Heso Kristo. Kaya nga po, Para sa mga bisita namin, muli nais po namin bigyan linawan sa inyo, hindi po kayo mapapawi, malilinis sa inyong mga kasalanan sa pamagitan ng pagsisimba lamang. Hindi kayo malilinis sa inyong mga kasalanan sa pamagitan ng pagsinasabi ni Sir Michael kanina ng pagsasaw-saw-suka. Hindi kayo malilinis ang kasalanan sa pagkakain nyo ng hostya. Hindi kayo malilinis sa inyong mga kasalanan sa umagita na inyong pagsasign of the cross at pagdadasal sa kung sino-sinong, per- sino-sinong multo na nasa, nasa, uh, nasa simbahan. Ang kailangan nyo lang gawin, maniwala sa Panginoong Iso Kristo bilang sanili yung Panginoon, tagapagligtas, then you will receive the remission of sins. And now, brethren, thanks God that in this very night, in this very hour, tayo nagsasama-sama sa loob ng simbahan Remitted from our sins. Amen. Praise the Lord. Walang kahirap-hirap. Naniwala lang tayo. Ang nakakalungkot, yung mga sinesira natin, na, ganun lang. Iba rin tayo minsan Pinoy. No? Talagang Pinoy, hard worker. Gusto pa pagpapaluin pa yung sarili bago sila maligtas. Gusto taon-taon pang nagpapapako sa cross para maligtas. Ika nga sinasabi madalas na narinig din natin sa pulpito na itong ilustrasyon, ang buha palo ka sa sikan nila, yung nakaayon din sa seremonya. Isang paluan lang yan kung mapapalo yan sa kaaway nila. Di ba naririnig natin madalas po yan dito? Parang po sa mga bisita natin, huwag po tayong papaloko sa mga ganun. Niluloko po tayo ng sistema ng mundo o ng relihiyon na nakikita po natin. Hindi po relihiyon ang maliligtas, hindi relihiyon ang maglilinis, dugo lang ni Kristo. Kaya nga po nakakatawa, that's why, brethren, every time we sing in this church, there is power in the blood, in the song book, you sing it right. Wala pong kakanda. There is power, power, wonder work. No, you sing when there is, when you sing there is power in the blood, there is power. You sing it right and you sing it with power because the blood that flows in you right now is a blood that has the power to remit us from our sins. What can wash away our sins? Nothing but the blood. The blood. Sir Ronnie, the blood. 
favorite song of Sir Ronnie there is still the blood. Because wala nang iba pang maglilinis up to this time, simula pa ng unang panahon, it is still the blood. Just believe. Hebrews chapter 10 verse tuloy po natin, pinasa natin kanina. Hebrews chapter 10 verse 10 to 14. Ang sabi ng Biblia, By the which will we are sanctified through the offering of the body of Jesus Christ once for all. And every priest standeth daily ministering and offering oftentimes the same sacrifices which can never take away sins. But this man, after he had offered one sacrifice for sins forever, sat down on the right hand of God. From henceforth, expecting till his enemies be made his footstool. For by one offering, he had perfected forever them that are sanctified. Verse 18, now where remission of this is, there is no more offering for sin. Mga kapatid, wala nang offering pa tayong gagawin para sa kasalanan. Pinapatay na lang natin yung kambing ngayon pang papaitan. Pang sinapalukan, pang papaitan, Brother Ray, Brother Conrad. Pang papaita, pang gout. <laughs> See? Doon na lang namin, natin pinapatay ang mga kambing. Pang kaldereta, pang papaitan, sinampaluka, lahat na. Yun, masarap na operin yun sa chan. Pero mga kapatid, ngayon, wala na tayong kailangan gawin ganun. It is a great blessing. Now, like I said, wala pong mabigat o wala tayong mahirap na kailangang pagintindihin. But kaya, uh, the reason why I, want you to, why I want to share this to you is this, brother. Now, we believe that the Lord Jesus Christ, we have, be have believed that the Lord Jesus Christ is the only way for us to receive that remission. Kaya tayo nandito. Kaya tayo nagsiselebrate. Amen. We have the remission. Pero alam niyo po mga kapatid, we have to check ourselves how we take it seriously. It is because of the reasons, now that we understand that as God, that our remission is a freedom from the guilt of our sin. It is, it is the release from the guilt and penalty of our offense against God. When Christ remitted us, He canceled or He freed us from the payment of our sins. When the Lord Jesus Christ remitted us through His blood. Na yun na naunawahan po natin ito mga kapatid. We have to take this seriously. Pero alam niyo po ang kung bakit natin kailangan ito siguraduhin. Because we have to check ourselves. Baka may pagkakataon po sa buhay natin that we have already been remitted from our sins. We have already been freed from the guilt of our sins. But there are still times na gusto natin at paulit-ulit natin binabalikan ang kasalanan na nagawa natin in time past. Are you listening, young people? Are you listening? Are we listening, brethren? Mga kapatid, ang jablo gusto lang tayong paulit-ulitin sa kasalanan. Sabi nga ni Solomon, wala namang bago ngayon eh. Ano mang kasalanan niya yun, siyang naging kasalanan noon. Bago kayo naligtas, may mga nagawa tayong kasalanan, ba't nakakalungkot mga kapatid kung binabalikan pa rin natin ang kasalanan kung saan tayo pinatawan na ng Panginoon Yeso Kristo. That, sabi nga eh, awkward. And in fact, it's, it's insanity. Nabalikan mo ang isang bagay kung saan ka pinalaya na. We, all, we have been already freed from the guilt. Pero gusto, gusto pa rin, marahin pa rin krisyano, ang gusto pa rin mag-guilty. Are we listening, brethren? This is not, this, I'm, I'm not saying to you to attack you, brethren, but we have to check ourselves, mga kapatid. Siya sa atin na natin ang sarili natin. Tum, huwag natin hayaan na tayo palaging lukoy ng jablo sa araw-araw natin pabubuhay na tayo tumapasok sa simbahan na ito, but yet, ayaw natin maging free sa git ng ating kasalanan. Let's capitalize the remission of our sins. There is power in the blood. What can wash away my sins? Nothing but the blood. It's still the blood. Blood tayo ng blood, ng blood, ng blood. Pero yung blood, 
Mukhang nababawal ang visa dahil sa pagbalik natin sa kasalanan. Nakakalungkot na ito kung iniisip pa kasi natin na hindi naman na tayo pupunta ng impyerno. Eh. We better check our salvation. It is not right for me to tell you that you are not saved but you have to check your salvation personally. Paano mo ba talaga tinanggap si Kristo? Para lang masabi mo na makaiwas ka sa kalanan but still you're enjoying from your sin. Let's check ourselves. Nakakapitalize ba yung remission ng ating kasalanan sa buhay natin? We have to check ourselves, brethren. Wala po tayong ginawa. Sabi ko nga po eh, walang kahirap-hirap nating natanggap ang remission ng ating kasalanan. Na kung wala tayong kahirap-hirap natanggapin yung remission ng ating kasalanan, then brethren, let's make it one of the highlights sa ating buhay kristyano. Actually, yan po yung sinasabi ko sa inyo kanina. Kaya nga po, di po ba, dikit-dikit ito eh. Tuloy-tuloy ito. Mula sa ating kaligtasan, noon tayo po ay na-remit. Nalaman natin na convert tayo. Nalaman po natin we, have re- we received the, commis- the remission of our sins when we believe God. Kaya nga sinabi ng Bible, Therefore, if any man be in Christ, he is a new creature. All things, all things are passed away. Behold, all things, all things are become new. Because we cannot go back or we should not go back from the old sins because we are already remitted. Yung guilt natin sa kasalanan, kaya alam mo mga kapatid, makakatulog tayo ng maayos kasi alam natin na pinatawad tayo ng Diyos nun. Nakakatulog tayo ng masarap na tulong ngayon, na-enjoy natin ngayon ang eternal life. Sabi nga ni Pastor, uh, what we believe in His church, we do not have to wait for our death physically para ma-enjoy yung eternal life. Right now, kung ikaw ay ligtas, you can enjoy yung eternal life. And we can enjoy it because we know that we have remission of our sins. We receive the remission of our sins the moment we believe the Lord Jesus Christ. Kaya nga mga kapatid, yung buhay kristyano natin, hindi yung, yung sarap ng buhay ng, Christ, buhay ng kristyano, hindi sa material na bagay. Lahat dala ng kaligtasan, yun lang isipin mo na at wala ka nang gumugulo sa isipan mo na may kasalanan kang pagbabayaran sa Diyos. Malaking kapahingahan yun mga kapatid. Hindi tayo kailangan matakot sa pananagutan natin sa tao. Matakot tayo sa pananagutan natin sa Diyos. Mga kapatid, understanding remission will help us grow stronger as well as a Christian. Ang kaligtasan po ang pundasyon ng lahat. Kaya nga po yan ang nagpapatibay sa isang Kristiyano. Hindi pa pwede na lumayo tayo sa kaligtasan. Kaya nga salamat sa Panginoon that in our church, everything in our salvation is highlighted. And it is being, it is strongly emphasized. And our pastor wants it na nandidiscuss sa pulpit ng ito. Bakit? Because he knows that will make us strong as a Christian. It doesn't matter kung matagal na tayo mga Kristiyano. Whether we accept it or not, there has been times in our life na limot na natin ang mga detalying ito. But praise God, meron siyang plano sa simbahan para tayo ay masumpungan niya because mga kapatid, Babalik ang Panginoon Iso Kristo to redeem us all. And as a church, He wants us not having spot or wrinkle. And again, I believe, I strongly believe that if our salvation is always fresh in our minds as a Christian, that will help us to have a, to, to live right as a church. Mga kapatid, remission of our sins. Kalahin nyo, wala na po tayong wala na tayong alalahanin sa sasagutin sa Diyos. Wala na tayong iisipin babayaran because we know we have already been freed from the guilt of our sins. We have been pardoned from our sins because there is a blood that was shed on the cross. Without shedding of blood, there is no remission of sins, brethren. And again, praise God that we don't need, we need not to go to those procedures in the Old Testament times. Akalain nyo, kung tutusin, yun yung sinasabi ng kanta kanina ng mga bata eh. Hindi natin pa rin maintindihan kung bakit tayo minahal ng Diyos. Ngayon isipin mo lang, isi, kung iisipin po natin lahat, hinayaan niya na yung kanyang katawang pisikal, parusahan, sirain dito sa mundong ito, 
Hinayain niya na yung dugo ay dumanak sa krus dahil sa pagmamahal niya sa atin. Ano bang ginawa natin para mahalin niya tayo? Kung isipin natin, wala eh. Ang gusto, ang gusto lang mangyari ng Diyos, bumalik tayo sa Kanya. Siya gumawa ng paraan, siya ang dahilan kung bakit tayo babal, napabalik sa Diyos. Hindi man tayo as perfect as we are created like Adam. Na wala pang kasalanan from the very beginning. Pero at least gumawa ang Panginoon to make us perfect sa harap niya sa pamagitan ng dugo ng Panginoong Iso Kristo. That's why mga kapatid, let's not take this lightly. Maaring matagal na tayong ligtas. Maaring matagal na tayo sa simbahan na ito. Pero let's check ourselves again. Tayo ba ay namumuhay bilang kristyano membro ng simbahan na ito? As if we are remitted from our sins? O parehas lang tayo ng mga kristyano sa mundo na hindi na-highlight ang salvation sa buhay? It's just between you and God. Kayo lang dalawa ng Diyos ang nakakaalam. Kaya nga gaming ito, pasalamatan natin ang sa Diyos and let's talk to God tonight kung ano talaga ang kalagayan natin if it is being highlighted in our life. Dakilang Diyos na makapangyarihan sa lahat. Maraming salamat po, Panginoon, sa oras po na ipinagkaloob niyo po sa amin. Salamat po, Panginoon. Salamat po, O Diyos, that you send your Holy Son, Jesus Christ, to shed His own blood for the remission of our sins. We cannot, I do believe, O God, na wala po kaming may isip na kabamaranan para maalis o man cannot even think of a way para maalis po namin ang guilt namin sa aming mga nagawang kasalanan. Salamat, Panginoon, dahil alam nyo hindi namin kayang gawin yun at ginawa nyo po yun para sa amin. Thank you, God, for the remission of our sins. Thank you for your blood, Lord Jesus Christ. Thank you that your blood, up to this time, O God, can still be the reason for the remission of our sins. Dakilang Diyos na makapangyarihan sa lahat. Maraming salamat po muli, Panginoon, sa oras po na ito na ipinagkaloob niyo po sa amin. Again, O God, thank you for your blood that was shed in the cross. Maraming salamat, Panginoon, na kayo po ang patuloy na nagpapakita po sa amin ng kadakilaan ninyo sa buhay po namin sa pamamagitan ng pag-aalala po namin patuloy sa aming pong kaligtasan at kung anong meron po sa aming kaligtasan. O Diyos, naway patuloy niyo po kami tulungang mamuhay na ayon Panginoon sa tama po sa tama po nga uh, pamantayan na tinuturo po na inyong bib, na inyo pong salita o oh Diyos. Hinihiling ko po na patuloy niyo po Panginoon ipaalala sa amin patuloy ang bawat uh, uh, bawat bahagi ng aming kaligtasan na siyang patuloy na magbibigay po sa amin ng kasiyahan sa pamumuhay bilang isang Kristiyano. Dakila po kayo o oh Diyos. Maraming maraming salamat sa pinagkaloob niyo po sa aming kaligtasan sa pangalan ni Jesus. Amen. I hope we can shout aloud Amen for the preaching. Amen. Ay, tayo po yung mga kabalik na sa ating maupuan as we call on our ushers for our tithes and offerings.